Hello everybody and welcome. In today's video we're going to be solving systems of equations using matrices and we're going to be going over this example shown here on the screen. So without further ado, let's get it. So we have these systems of equations here and we want to solve them using matrices. So the way we write this as a matrix is you just take the coefficients of each row and just put them under each other. So row one is this first one right here. So we have one, negative two, three, and a dashed line here represents the equal sign, and nine. All right? Row two becomes negative one, three, zero, negative four. And row three becomes two, negative five, five, and 17. Just like that. Okay, so this is our matrix here. And what we wanna do is we wanna make this number here and this number here a zero. We wanna make both of those a zero. So what we can do is we can add rows, we can multiply rows, we can subtract rows, um, which makes it easier to solve this. So let's first start by adding row one plus row two. That way we can eliminate this number right here and make it a zero. So when we do that, row one stays the same, which is one, negative two, three, nine. Row two then becomes zero, negative two plus three is one. 3 plus 0 is 3, and 9 plus negative 4 is 5. Okay? And now row 3 stays the same. We haven't done anything to that yet. Just like that. So that's the first step. Now what we want to do is eliminate this 2 here. We want to make that a 0. So the way we can do that is by multiplying row 1 by negative two, so negative two times row one, and then we add it to row three. And that is going to give us one, negative two, three, nine, zero, one, three, five. The first two rows stay the same. And now, we have to do the uh, algebra here. So negative two times row one plus three. So looking back at the uh, top right matrix here, negative two times one is negative two, negative two plus two is zero. Negative two times negative two is four, four minus five is negative one. And then we got negative two times three is negative six, negative six plus five is negative one. And then we have negative two times nine is negative 18, negative 18 plus 17 is negative one. Okay, so we have uh, zeros underneath the one that's in the front. Now we want a one in the middle, which we have. Therefore, we wanna make this number below that one a zero. And the way we can do that is by adding rows two and three together. So two plus row three. The top one stays the same. One, negative two, three, nine, zero, one, three, five. Row two stays the same also. And now what we want to do is add rows two and three together. So zero plus zero is zero. One minus one is zero. Three minus one is two. Five minus one is four. So just like that. Now let's go on to the next uh, page here and finish. All right, continuing on with this problem here. What we want right now is to make this two right there. We want to make that a one. Okay, and the way we can do that is by just dividing row three by two. So our uh, note here is one half of row three. And it's pretty important to keep your notes there. That way, if you do make a mistake, you can backtrack and see what operation that you did to the row. So 
Uh, row ones and two are going to stay the same. Let me write those down here. Nine, and then zero, one, three, five, and zero, zero. Two divided by two is one. Two divided, uh, four divided by two is two. Just like that. Okay, so what we wanted has been accomplished so far. We have ones in the diagonal, zeros below those ones. And what we can do here is use the uh, uh, substitution method. So there's also another method called the Gauss-Jordan elimination method where you continue and you go backwards. So I'm going to show you both of those uh, to complete this problem. So the first one, we're going to just use the substitution method. Okay, so we know that the first term is our x, the second term is our y, and the third term is our z. So we're going to start from the bottom going up. So z is equal to 2. That's one of our solutions right there. And we know that from this bottom portion right there. Okay, now if we were to look at row 2, row 2, it's going to look like this, y plus 3z is equal to 5. And now we know what z is, so y plus 3 times 2 is equal to 5. y plus 6 is equal to 5. And then subtract 6 to both sides. And you get y is equal to negative 1. Okay? So we found z, we found y. Now we look at row 1, row 1, and we try to solve for that one. So we have x minus 2 times our y value, which is negative 1, plus 3 times our z value, which is 2, is equal to 9. All right, so then we get x plus 2 plus 6 is equal to 9. x plus 8 is equal to 9. Subtract 8 both sides, and you get x is equal to 1. So now we have all three of our solutions right there. Okay, now I'm going to go on to the next page and show you the Gauss-Jordan method to solve this problem. All right, so now let's solve this problem using the Gauss-Jordan method. And what that basically is, is just going backwards of everything we kind of just did. So you see here how we have zeros down here. Now what we want to do is get zeros up here as well. Okay, so like I said, we just go backwards now. First thing I want to do is make this 3 here a 0. And the way we do that is by multiplying row 3 by negative 3. So negative 3 times row 3. And then adding it to row 2. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Row 3 stays the same. 0, 0, 1, our dashed line, and 2. And then we get 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, sorry. 0, 1. And now negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Okay, and then negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1. All right, and then row 1 stays the same. 3 and 9, like that. All right, so now we want to make this 3 up here a zero as well. So we are going to do negative three times row three plus row one. Okay, and row three stays the same, zero, zero, one, two. Row two stays the same, zero, one, zero, negative one. And now row one will become one, negative two, since zero times negative three is going to be zero, so those stay the same. Now, negative one times negative three, or sorry, one 
times negative 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. And then we have negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, plus 9 is 3. All right, almost done here. Last thing we want to do is make this negative 2 a 0. And how we do that is by multiplying row 2 by 2 and adding it to row 1. So we have 2 times row 2 plus row 1. All right. So rows 3 and 2 stay the same. 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, negative 1. All right. So now 0 times 2 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2 plus negative 2 is 0. And then we have a 0 here. And then the last one is 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 3 is 1. All right. So the whole reason why we do the Gauss-Jordan method is now you can see that these right here are directly equal to the other number on the equal sign. There is no other number, so we do not have to substitute. So reading this, we have z is equal to 2, which is row 3 here. Y is equal to negative 1. And then X is equal to 1. All of those numbers just came directly from the last row here um, after the dashed equal line. Okay, so that's why we use this method. And this is my favorite method to use. But you can use either one. You can use this or the substitution method and you'll get the same exact answer.